Hello, potato. Sometimes you want a snack that's a, it's a little bit healthier, or at least makes you believe it's a little bit healthier. Now, a lot of times when you get these kind of, these healthier snacks, they're usually not that different than your non-healthy ones, except they usually have like less flavor, because less flavor equals more healthy. And I kind of feel like that's potentially where we are today, but I'm hoping we'll still have our flavor and, and probably a fair amount of sodium to get us there. Because today we're trying an item from a brand I have tried before, and that is Sensible Portions Garden Veggie Puffs Pizza Flavor. Now I've had Sensible Portions like veggie sticks and stuff before, and they're, you know, they're pretty good. They're not, they're not generally much in the way of healthier than uh, the other non-veggie things, because when it comes down to it, it's still a corn puff. So this is still at its soul, like the same thing as like a Cheetos puff. Just, I'm guessing there'll be some more vegetables in it. Let's see. Um, of course, Central Portions is a, uh, not only a good brand name, but a good, good advice. If you ate less of these things, it really wouldn't matter how, uh, what the contents of them were, because it's, it's, it's quantity that's really uh, what's getting you there. So these are 130 calories per serving, 55 puffs, which I think is fairly, I mean, well, I don't mean, I don't know how big the puffs are. I have no idea. Obviously these are, enlarged to show detail but i haven't opened up to see how big the puffs are if a puff is you know like like that then maybe 55 isn't so much but if they're if they're like cheetos puff sized puffs and you know that's still pretty generous sodium is not as bad as i thought it would be it's 11 percent of your daily which isn't great but it's you know it could be worse again a lot of a lot of these, these like healthier items make up for the lack of other flavor by adding in more sodium so it still tastes of something but yeah, when it comes down to it still, the main ingredient is cornmeal. It's kind of the same thing that you find in Cheetos. Then we have oils. We have seasoning, which has whey, salt, sugar, tomato powder, onion powder, spices, Parmesan cheese, extractives of paprika, beet juice powder, green bell pepper powder, red bell pepper powder, carrot powder. So, I mean, I, I don't feel like this is actually any healthier than any other snack I try on here. It's just because, I mean, it's not even got that much more in the way of vegetables. I mean, a pizza flavored potato chip would have tomato powder in it. It's not, I don't know, I mean, guess ultimately what matters is that it's good. I mean, if I'm, if I'm just fooling myself into thinking this is healthier, you know, whatever gets me through the day. But as long as they're good, that's what really matters. Ah, that was a mistake, wasn't it? I just wanted to turn this so we could see the words a little better on the camera. And the whole thing fell over. Sensible Portions Garden Veggie Puffs are a poppable snack with delicious taste the whole family can enjoy even the kids at heart. Baked, never fried, and with 40% less fat than the leading puff snack, you can now cure your crunchy cravings anytime. 40% less fat than the leading puff snack. When you can get all this, plus the taste of cheesy pizza, it makes for one satisfying and sensible snack. Grab a bag today. Okay. Make sure to try all the delicious flavors of Sensible Portions Registered copyright, garden veggie puffs, including sour cream and onion and white cheddar. White cheddar would probably be good. I like white cheddar flavored things. So let's see what we've got here. Again, uh, yep, enlarged to show texture. Correct on that. Sell buying these isn't until August, so they are well in date. And uh, those are pretty good sized. I mean, they're certainly smaller than a Cheeto puff, but they're uh, kind of weird shaped. Is that part of the puffing process? It happens like when they, or was that intentional? I mean, looks like they've kind of like butterfly a hot dog here. What do they smell like? They smell like a pizza flavored snack. Very tomatoey, maybe a little hint of cheese. The scent, the, the scent on them, the aroma is quite strong. But that doesn't necessarily mean the flavor will be. We've had that happen before where I've tried things that smelled very strongly and then tasted of absolutely nothing. So let's. Let's see where we are with this. There's a very strong tomato flavor, like on the back of my tongue. It's not 100% pleasant, but it's not bad. I think maybe I just wasn't expecting it to be quite that strong. But yeah, uh, if you gave this to me, I would probably guess pizza was the flavor they were going for here. If I, you know, not knowing or, you know, some sort of Italian flavor. I'm getting the, getting the seasonings, I'm getting, it does taste very much of tomato sauce, a little bit of cheese. It's a much, much tighter puff than like a Cheetos puff. The, the air 
the air bubbles inside aren't as, as big. Let's see if I can like kind of bite one in half and get a better look at it. You see, it's a very tight puff, uh, but it's not, it doesn't make it like chewy. It's, it's It feels denser in the mouth, but it also feels l just as light, if that makes sense. Like there's more of it there, but it's not heavier than say a Cheeto puff. Yeah, those are pretty good. They're not spicy at all. Just kind of tomatoey, a little cheesy. Again, if you just gave me a bowl of these, didn't tell me what they were, I would probably guess, I probably would guess pizza. I'd definitely get that it's Italian or Italian inspired because of the, the herbs that are there. Are, I didn't really notice any in the, in the ingredients, but it tastes like there's seasoning in the, well, I guess it just does, well, yeah, there's onion powder and spices, just the, the, undead, the undeclared spices, I think, are probably what's giving it a good pizza sauce flavor. Like, it reminds me of the sauce you dip crazy bread in. So yeah, that is, that is not bad at all. I don't really think ultimately it's any healthier. I do think 55 puffs is a pretty good portion, but I think, you know, calorie-wise, you're getting about the same as what you would in a Doritos or a Cheetos or a Lay's potato chips. Maybe less oily, but... I don't feel like it's any healthier. I don't feel like it's, I mean, it's not predominantly made of veggie. It's still just a corn puff. So I really think this is a situation where you're just kind of convincing yourself that you're having a healthier snack than actually having a healthier snack. You're not going to get thinner eating these instead of Cheetos. There may be some other benefits to there being like less oil, to being baked instead of fried. But I mean, if calories what you're going for, you're not, you're not saving a lot here. And really not even that much on the sodium either. It's uh But they are good. I mean that's that should be the number one thing in a snack is does it taste good? And it does taste good. I do enjoy these. I I'm again that this initial flavor was a bit much, but after that, no, they're pretty good. Maybe a little dry. Keep your water bottle handy for uh when you or just don't put three in your mouth at one time. That's probably also a, a decent solution. So there we have it. Sensible portions, garden veggie puffs, pizza flavored corn puffs. I don't think really much healthier, but they are, they're tasty and they're a nice option and I don't regret trying them. And there's really nothing else to say about it. So I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.